Wake up. It's time to kickstart your day with Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration. Daily Dose of Inspiration. Good morning and welcome to this brand new day. This is Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration for Friday, August 4th, 2017. And as you wake up and you start this brand new day, Thank God for this day. Commit this day to Him. Use this day to bring glory and honor to our Lord. And use this day to share your faith with someone and encourage somebody. And while you're at it today, give God praise because He is worthy of our praise. He is worthy of our worship. He is worthy of our thanksgiving. Our scripture reading today is taken from the book of Daniel, chapter number 6, verses 25 through 28. Scripture says, Then King Darius wrote unto all people, nations, and languages that dwelleth in all the earth, Peace be multiplied unto you. I make a decree that in every dominion of my kingdom men tremble and fear before the God of Daniel, for he is the living God and steadfast forever in his kingdom, that which shall not be destroyed, and his dominion shall be even unto the end. He delivereth and rescueth, and he worketh signs and wonders in heaven and in earth, who hath delivered Daniel from the power of the lions. So this Daniel prospered in the reign of Darius and in the reign of Cyrus the Parisian. Friends, we've been studying about Daniel and about the the examples that we can see of extreme faith that we have in God. And Daniel had a great faith in God, a great trust in God. And as a result of, of Daniel and his relationship with God, God blessed Daniel and that's what we've been studying the past couple of weeks. We looked at some areas last week of where God had blessed Daniel in the in the what he was eating and in the the lion's den. And then we see his his friends Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego of how God blessed them and protected them in the fiery furnace. And now this week we're going back and we're seeing the results of what happened. What happened after Daniel displayed that faith? in what he was eating. What happened after Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego had went through the fiery furnace? And now today we're seeing what happened after Daniel went through the lion's den. And after he was delivered, we had read the story um, last week that, that the people that was accusing Daniel ended up being destroyed by the lions. And now King King Darius here is making a decree unto all nations that they need to worship the God of Daniel because God, he said here in verse 27, he delivers, he rescues, and he works signs and wonders in heaven and on earth. Look at what he said. He delivers. God delivered Daniel from that lion den, lion's den. He rescued Daniel from the lions, but not only the lions, but also those who were seeking to get rid of him, his enemies, if you will. And he worked his signs and wonders, because if you read elsewhere in the book of Daniel, you'll see where Daniel starts interpreting dreams, and God's helping him interpret dreams. And, you know, in that time period, that was something that was important. And we see how Daniel was able to tell him about the writing on the wall and various things. And so God greatly blessed Daniel, and as a result, everybody heard about the God of Daniel, and everyone was was worshiping the God that Daniel served. Because remember, Daniel wasn't in his homeland when this stuff happened. He wasn't in Jerusalem, in Israel. He was captive in Babylon. So undoubtedly, they never heard of God, or if they did, they didn't know the truth about God. And now God is making himself real through Daniel. What would happen, my friends, if we would allow God to work through us in the way that God worked through Daniel? Imagine who we can be influencing. The people would see who Jesus truly is. Are you willing to let God work through you today, this weekend? Think about that as you go through this day. And remember, get into God's Word and allow God's Word to get into you. Then share that Word with someone today. Have a blessed day.